Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor George is back with us, giving us good word on today is what, George? God's we are system? God's system of promotion. Mm. Gloria, we've been talking about promotion. And <clears throat> the scripture that we've been using is Psalm 75 in mm -hmm. verse 5. Lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck, for promotion comes neither from the east, from the west, or from the south, but God is the judge. He puts down one and he sets up another. Does that mean <clears throat> lift not up your horn on high? Does that mean <clears throat> don't try to build yourself up? That's exactly what it <laughs> don't, means. Don't, promote, That's, don't try to promote yourself. Don't try to promote yourself. God is your God promoter. Promote you. Okay. And so Gloria and I have been talking about this week and we'll be talking next week about promotion. And we've been praying for you that it is God's will for you to be promoted, to be advanced, to be exalted. God wants to do that for you. And what does He use to do that? <clears throat> favor. He uses favor to He's do it. He's got favor. He uses, and not only does He use favor, but in, in the use of favor, He uses somebody that is qualified for yeah. that promotion. That's right. And so we'll be talking more and more about that as That's we go right. along. That's good. That's but really good. we want you to know that, first of all, all of the outlines You've are available to you. You've got to give him something to promote. You've got to give him something to promote. You've got you to give him something to work with. That's right. Give me That's something it. to work with. That's right. <laughs> so we are, <clears throat> all of the outlines for this series that we're doing, they're available on kcm.org. Just go to the website, look for the picture of Glory and Me, click onto it, and it will take you not only to these outlines, but it'll take you to all of the outlines. Over 260 outlines that Gloria and I have wow. done on the subject of prosperity. So you can go ahead and check those out. And I do want to make a correction from yesterday, Gloria. Oh no! We, we were talking about Old Yeller. Old Yeller. The car. Yeah. <laughs> it was the car. <clears throat> was it a 54 Chevrolet? It, I said yesterday it was a 55 Chevrolet. Oh, you gave us a little promotion. It's a 54 Chevrolet. You were right. You actually said that yesterday. You were right. Well, some things you can't forget. <laughs> no, <George>. you can't. <laughs> Kenneth bought that car while you and Kenneth were dating, and that car went on into your marriage. Yeah. And I like what you said, though. It was, what you was were that? grateful. We were. You were grateful for that walking. car. It beats one. <laughs> Even if the headliner was hanging down. <clears throat> Even if it was hanging down. <laughs> but I'll tell you something, Gloria, and we used this yesterday. I'll show this picture again. But it's, it's, it's a picture of your car, and then what we put beside it was a picture of the Citation 10. Oh, that's and, good. I like that. And I must say, you have come a long way we in have. your <laughs> transportation modes. We've learned quite a lot since <clears throat> then. You really have. <laughs> and we're showing kind of a combination yeah. of the two of yeah. them. And you know, you got to start where you are. That's right. That's where we were. That's right. And uh, the that's Word right. will work with you if you'll work with it. You know, there's some people out right there, out right now listening to us, watching us. Yeah. They, they need to go out to their car and say, Lord, I thank you for this car. Yeah. You should see, thank oh, you. if you're watching, you should have seen old Yeller. Mm -hmm. But it just beat walking all mm -hmm. the pieces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he said he got it for $350 in the back I'm not of sure the it was out that in much. the back of the lot. But you all have ha you've been promoted because you have been doing promotion God's way. There Amen. is a system of promotion that God has, yeah. and there's a system of promotion that the world has. And that's what we're going to take a look oh, at today. I, that sounds interesting. So Good. let's, first of all, we're going to take a look at the, um, the world's system of promotion. And in Genesis chapter 11, we have our scriptures down there on the okay, page yeah, there. If you want it. to take a look at it. Mm -hmm. In Genesis chapter 11, verse 4, it says, Let us build a tower whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us mm -hmm. a name. Yeah. Well, that is it in a nutshell. The world's system of promotion is self-promotion. I am going to build myself a name. I am going yeah. to do this myself. And I'm going to use every means that I have to climb over people like I put down here. In the world, people endeavor to promote themselves. 
They push one another aside as they climb the corporate ladder. They have no regard for God or for others. That's how the world system of promotion That's is. Right. <clears throat> and it really isn't promotion, if you will, if it's, it's really them trying to make themselves somebody at the hands of somebody else. Yeah, yeah, that's right. At the expense of somebody else. <clears throat> yeah. And there's a perfect example of this in Isaiah 14 in verses 12 through 15. I'll read it to you. It's, this is about Satan and Satan falling. And he was trying to promote himself. This is the world system of promotion. It says, How you have fallen from heaven, O morning star, son of the dawn. You've been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations, you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. I will sit enthroned on the mount of the assembly, on the utmost heights of the sacred mountain. I will ascend above the top of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. But you are brought down to the grave, to the depths mm. of the pit. Now, there's a perfect example there of somebody who was trying to exalt himself. Yeah. That's he right. was trying to push himself. And <clears throat> I know, Gloria, that you, you've experienced this, and I've been around people before that have tried to promote themselves. They've tried to push themselves. Yeah. And <clears throat> oftentimes, and, and Brother Savell talks about this a lot too. He says, there, there have been so many people over the years that have told Brother Savell, that said, I'm with you, I'm with you forever, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help make this ministry, and I'm going to help build this ministry, and they're gone. They've disappeared. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing with the devil. He was trying to promote himself, and what he was trying to promote himself was above the throne of God. Mm -hmm. And you just can't do that. No, that does, you, you don't have the <clears throat> capability. You yeah. don't have the capability to do that. And that's what was happening in the book of Genesis. Let us build a tower whose top may reach into heaven. Let us build a name. You do not have to build a name for yourself. Gloria, there are way mm -hmm. too many, there are far too many pastors and ministries that are trying to promote themselves. They're I will tell you how to promote, how to be promoted. Tell me. You do what you're told. Do what you're told to do. And that That's proves it. your faithfulness. That's it. And that puts you in line for promotion. Well. But, yeah, you know, we never tried to dream up something to. Yeah. If we do this, it'll put us over. No, that's the world. That's not thing. what we do here. No. And I have so learned that through you and Kenneth over all of these years. 50 years of ministry you've been in. I've been here for 41 years. And I have listened very carefully You've been to you. A very good listener. <clears throat> and we've had, there have been times that I've been involved in meetings where there have been discussions about how do we promote this or how yeah. do we promote yeah. that, mm -hmm. but it doesn't last. No. It never has. That's not our style. That's not the way we do. I can remember the day mm -hmm. that <clears throat> your, your brother, who was the executive director for a time, Doug Neese, and there was an advertising company that was doing some work with us and they, we were building the building out here and we were, we were running out of finances to build the building. So Brother Copeland- Because we were paying cash. Paying cash. So Brother Copeland decided, we're just gonna shut down building yep, the building so that we can focus on direct ministry. Well, the, this company had an idea and they wrote a letter and it was an appeal letter for us to use. <clears throat> uh -huh. For us to use. <laughs> and by, you know, <clears throat> at the time that we were building that building, that was 1985 or so, I, I'd been around, <clears throat> I'd been around about nine years, almost 10 years at, by that time. And you should have picked up some things by then. Oh, I picked up some things <laughs> all right. Well, your brother, Doug, handed me the letter and said, go down to Kenneth and Gloria's house you were living at Lake Country at the time, said, so drive over to their house and give this letter to Kenneth. And I looked at it and I read it. And it was an appeal letter for money for the building to help to, and it was crafted. It was not Kenneth. Yeah. And I read it and I looked at Doug. Now Doug's my boss and I respect him. I said, 
I'm not taking this letter down to him. You take it. <laughs> he said, George, he said, just take the letter to him and see what he says. I said, I know what he's going to say. He said, George, just take the letter. Okay. So I went down to the house. And you can picture this. This was the kitchen yeah. at that house. And so Kenneth and I sit down at a table very much like this. And <clears throat> I said, they, they gave me this letter. So I, I pushed the letter over to him and he picked it up and he read the letter. And he looked up at me. <laughs> and he looked up at me as if I were the spirit of compromise itself. Did you itself. see fire in his eyes? Did I ever see fire? <laughs> Did I ever see fire in his eyes? He put that letter down and he pointed at me like this. Mm. And he said, do not seek ways to get the money in. You see, I'll point at you. Do not seek ways to get the money in. You seek ways to get the word of God out there and the money will come in. That's right. So I took the letter back to Doug and I went back to Doug's office. He said, what did he say? I said, you don't <laughs> seek ways. <laughs> You don't seek ways to get the money in. You seek ways to get the word out. <clears throat> well, all that to say, there are so many people that try to self-promote them. Yeah. What can we do to get money from them? What can we do to get favor? What can we do to edge our way in? What can we do to get on his platform or to get on that platform? And that's, that promote is the themselves. world's way of trying to promote yourself, and it's wrong. Yep, it's yeah. wrong. And it's not very good. It doesn't work very well. It doesn't work it very well. It blows up in your face. <laughs> doesn't <or something>. it? <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. And I know, I know that that's been tried in ministry. And I'm telling you folks, I have learned from the very best about how we approach ministry. And Kenneth and Gloria are the least self-promoting people that I have ever met that's in my God. life. And that's the way we have to be. So the devil tried to do that. And it says in Ezekiel 28, 17, <clears throat> this, is the, this is God talking to the devil. Your heart was filled with pride mm -hmm. because of all your beauty. Now, Gloria, pride has everything to do with self-promotion. Oh, yeah. Pride oh, yeah, is the basis does. of the world's system of promoting itself. Mm -hmm. So God said to the devil, your heart was filled with pride because of all your beauty. Your wisdom was corrupted by your love of splendor. So I threw you to the ground and exposed Ooh. you to the curious gaze of kings. Well, See, that goes that's back. That's quite a translation. That that's the new living. That goes right back to our foundation scripture from Psalm 75 there at the top of your page. Do not lift your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. Promotion neither comes from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but God is the judge. He's the one that's in the north. That's scripture. God is in the north. Mm -hmm. God is the judge. He puts down one and he lifts up or he sets up or he promotes another. The devil was trying to promote himself and he was put down. And look at this at the bottom of your page. That scripture, <clears throat> the, uh, what mm. is that TLB? What is that? The Living Bible. For promotion and power come from nowhere on earth. Is that Plain enough. That's plain enough but right only there. Only from God. Only from God. That's quite a scripture. He promotes one and he deposes another. Mm. I'm on now, his side. Yeah, and we don't so many times, and I'm talking from ministry perspectives, so many times they have tried the world's system of promotion to yeah. promote their ministry, got to get my name out there, got to get my name in front of people. Gloria, We've that is, that. that's distasteful mm -hmm. in the mouth of God. That's wrong. You don't have to do that. You no. really don't fact, have to do, don't do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that <laughs> because, because look at the last scripture here at the bottom of your page. The wise shall inherit glory but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Mm. It is a foolish thing to try to promote That's yourself truth, because shame is your promotion. That, isn't that something? That is shame something. is yeah. the promotion. I never thought about that before, no. about the promotion of the ungodly. Their promotion, they're not promoted to a higher place. They, sure. Their place is less. less. That's right. They're promoted to less, if you will. So that's the world system of promotion. But we do not operate on the world system of promotion. No. We operate by God's system of promotion. 
Amen. And if, if you look at page two, let's look at God's system of promotion. And the scripture that I used there, Gloria, was Genesis chapter 12. And in verses one and two in the Amplified Translation, it says, Now in Haran, the Lord said to Abram, Go for yourself, for your own advantage, away from your country, from your relatives and your father's house, to the land that I will show you. Now, you just said to me a little while ago that to qualify for promotion, you have to obey that's what right. God tells you to do. Yep, that's it. So God spoke to <clears throat> Abraham, to, to Abram, get out of your what country, get away from your family, your relatives, your father's house, and go to the land that I will show you. Your prosperity is on the other side of your obedience. And it's where God <coughs> shows you. It's, it, we're, I'll show you where to go to get promoted. That's it. That's it, isn't it? That's good, that's George. It. I like that. Well, he said, now listen to this, Gloria. I will make of you a great nation. Yeah. I will bless you with abundant increase of favor and make your name famous and distinguished and you sh shall be a blessing dispensing good to others. Now, where is that? In the land he shows you. In the land he shows you to go to. That's it. And sometimes it. it looks like, how can I ever do that, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. But you just have to take the next step. Yep. Yeah. He, he was not trying to self-promote himself. He was mm -hmm. not trying to do that. God's system of, of promotion, he said, I'll make of you a great nation. I will bless you. Mm -hmm. I will make your name great. See, <clears throat> I'll tell you what I did. Uh, I'll go back here to Genesis 12. 12. Brother Copeland showed, showed this when he was preaching one time. This was very interesting. And it says here in Genesis chapter 11, this is about the tower they were building. Yeah. They said, let us build a city and a tower. Us. Us, 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 and that the top may reach into heaven. And let us make us a name. Oh, well, Kenneth said, take, mm. take a pen and put a line in your Bible from let us make a name over to Genesis 12, where God says, I will make of you a great nation. I will yeah, bless yeah, you yeah. and I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Praise God. You see the difference. Yeah. There's the world system of promotion and there's God's system of promotion. And he is far surpasses, surpasses the world. He does. He oh will bring my. you, he'll bring good, you into a much higher place. Listen, listen to me. God is the source of your advancement. God is the source of your promotion. Yes, he is. <clears throat> it doesn't, it doesn't matter where you start. It doesn't matter if you That's feel right. like if you're at the very bottom. Don't blame the company. Don't blame your boss. Don't blame anybody else. But you do, you know, <clears throat> you think about Joseph being in prison and how Joseph, when he was working for Potiphar, then he got involved in that, the scandal that Potiphar's wife tried to bring up. Mm -hmm. Well, Potiphar believed his wife put Joseph in prison, and no matter where Joseph went, he rose to the top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he was obedient, he was disciplined, he was diligent, he was faithful, he was yes, a man of integrity. Right. And right. every time he'd go to a low spot, he would just, he would buoy his way back up to the top. He'd float back up to the top again. And then it happened once again when <clears throat> he was in that prison, and the, the, this time it's the Pharaoh that he had a dream and I need an interpreter for the dream. And none of the, none of his interpreters could interpret that dream. And, and his wife said to him, <clears throat> listen to your wives. His wife said to him, there's somebody in prison that is wise and has wisdom and can interpret this. So he had him come back out from prison. Hmm. He interpreted that dream. He, he pulled hmm. Joseph from the very pit brought him back up and Joseph eventually became the ruler right under Pharaoh. He was, his, his reign did not include the throne, but it was right under. And Joseph turned the entire nation of Egypt around. I mean that, God made a name. Yes, he did. For him.
Praise God. He didn't have to make a name for himself. And you don't have to do that. God will promote you. And I like this scripture, uh, number three there, Gloria, First uh, Corinthians 12, 18. God has set the members, yeah. every one of them in the body, as it has pleased him. And this is my confession over my life. He sets me wherever it pleases him. Yes, I believe that for myself. <clears throat> Hallelujah. He wherever sets it me. pleases him. <clears throat> he sets me wherever it pleases him. He sets you wherever it pleases yes, him. That's what you need to be saying. That's what you need to be confessing. And you know, Gloria, we talked yesterday about the archive and all of the photographs. And I was looking at the pictures where you and Kenneth started and you began and Wichita Falls in 1968 Ooh. Ooh, and, Andy. and, and preaching, <laughs> preaching in that, that old hollowed out uh, uh, a f pharmacy that was there and old drugstore. Oh, the dr drugstore. Pharmacy's that was, too good a word. <laughs> that was too good. An old drugstore. And I'm and I'm I'm watching the the progression that you and Kenneth are making. And then I'm watching you in front of all of the people at ORU receiving your degrees from hmm. ORU. I'm looking at all of what God has done. And you know, you and Kenneth have always had the mentality, he sets me wherever it pleases him. All you've wanted to do is please God. And I'll just wrap it up with this. The world's system of promotion is, how can I do it? How can I get it? How can I make a name for myself? God's system of promotion is, how can he do it? How can he lead me? Lord, what do I want? What do you want me to do? And Lord, you set me in the body where it pleases you. I want, instead of us making a name for ourselves, we make a name for him. Amen. That's the key to promotion. Amen. To make a name for him. Instead of making a way for, our, a way for a way ourselves, for ourselves, we make a way for him to move in. Glory to That's God. That's it, Gloria. I like it, Gloria. That's it, Gloria. Hallelujah. George and I'll be right back. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.